Blink is this weekend. Uh, technically starts on Thursday. The light and music extravaganza will dominate the nights from Thursday to Sunday. But the Cincinnati Convention and Visitors Bureau wants you to enjoy the city during the day as well. Joining us to talk about that, we have Janelle Walt with Cincinnati USA Convention and Visitors Bureau and Tyler Minton with Yelp Cincinnati. Guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for having us. I'm, I'm all kinds of excited about Blink. We I, can I, tell. I was just <laughs> telling you during the, during the commercial break that, you know, last go round with Blink, even though we had conceptually, we had an idea of what it was. I don't know that anybody really grasped right. how huge the impact and how many people were going to attend. Do you guys think that's fair? Oh, absolutely. One of the big things is we never thought a million people yeah. uh, would show up right. for a blink, but they did. And this year they're actually expecting 1.5 million people. Amazing. And coming from all over, not just the Cincinnati region, but Louisville, you know, just different places. Yep. And one of the things we want to encourage people, local residents and people from outside, get a hotel room. Yeah. We're almost sold out right now because the word just keeps spreading on how great this event is going to be. All those big, huge lights, the murals, everything for people to come down to. And whether people are coming from out of town or out in the suburbs, more than likely a lot of them are going to get into downtown before the sun goes down. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Yep. So l let's discuss blink during the day or at least finding things to do before they light up. They light up all the unbelievable art installations. Let's start with you. Ty. What, what kinds of things are we talking about? What do we hope people experience in our city? Yeah, absolutely. So I think anytime there's something as big as Blink in our city, which yeah. only happens once in a blue moon, but yeah. we're so excited that it's here. And sometimes when that happens, we get stressed out. And we're like, oh, I don't want to go downtown because you know, there's too many, so people. Much, too many people. Yeah. <laughs> but there's so many ways that you can come downtown, enjoy your favorites and still have an incredible time. So one tip is actually to have that yellow app on your phone. Sure. A little bias here, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but if you have that app, you can actually use the waitlist feature on it. And so with that, you can actually add yourself to a restaurant's waitlist without actually being at the restaurant. Oh, wow. That's Avoid nice. that wait time and sure. just slide right in as your table's ready. That's a great idea. So we actually have a few food partners here today that we definitely like love to recommend that okay. you check out while you're in town. So while you start off at Blink over here in There's Northern a mac and cheese Kentucky, situation happening over here. We have a mac here. and cheese yeah, situation over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. love a mac and cheese situation. This is okay. actually from Coppins at Home. Hotel Covington. Okay, nice. Yeah, no, they actually have a walk up window they, from 10 p.m. to yep. 2 a.m. on yep. Friday and yep. Saturday yep. night. Zero out, having drinks, exploring, having looking at the art. You can also stop by their window, get some mac and cheese, and they also have this is a snickerdoodle. So that's not your average cookie, that right? Is not, that is not a snickerdoodle. That is like a snickerdoodle on steroids, is I what think that Bob's is. I'm ready to try I'm, it right I'm now. I'm that snickerdoodle pretty hardcore. <laughs> what about pancakes you got going Pan, on over right here? Right over here, this is actually from Maplewood, Cincinnati. Okay. So Maplewood Kitchen and Bar was actually recently named by Yelp as one of the most photographed businesses in the Midwest. Oh, really? Yeah. That's interesting. And as soon as you walk in, you'll kind of know why, because it's got all that beautiful natural lighting, the food looks amazing, and it tastes just as good. So these are their lemon ricotta pancakes. Oh. Yelpers rave about how fluffy these pancakes they are. They look so that's, fluffy. Very they fluffy. They look especially <laughs> fluffy. And let's, let's finish up with yeah. uh, the, the beverages Absolutely. you have on the old table so right now. So while you're in town and eating Cincinnati, drink Cincinnati as well. Think local. There as are you're many going options to, to drink Cincinnati. <laughs> okay. So and you, your visitors might have heard of some of our big names, but we also have breweries like Three Points right here. So as okay. you're out looking at great local art, they actually support local artists by creating uh, and conceptualizing art with them. As oh, soon cool. as you walk in, you'll see that modern feel. This is Nazar, their dark lager, gonna have a lot of those coffee notes, perfect for the fall. And then we have New Riff right here. So as you're at a bar ordering a cocktail, ask your bartender what you can do to buy local as you're ordering that cocktail. Cool, yeah. very fun. And and you know, just very quickly, yeah. how important is an event like this to our area? I mean, it's it's the, the impact, it's not just over these few days, it's long lasting. No, you're right. It actually even introduces people to Cincinnati. We want to bring people to Cincinnati to come and check out all of the new restaurants, the hotels. We have a lot of boutique hotels downtown. Right. So it really feeds the economy and it feeds our local business owners. Get people downtown, get them to stop off and eat and shop check it all out and it just cycles over and over again. Helps the hospitality industry. How about we find out what the weather is going to be like starting on Thursday and oh, pushing through that weekend. Let, let's do that. Let's see if we